Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel talks a lot about uh, all new Outlander. Today we are in this beautiful brand new Outlander GT fully loaded diamond stitching leather and everything else but uh, today the story here is about these paddle shifters right here. So they are hidden right behind your steering wheel and they're fairly small and uh, they're, you know, plastic. So even if you haven't uh, noticed, uh, they kind of blend in in the entire, you know, steering wheel and panel. So if you haven't noticed that you have them, don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, if you're interested in test driving one, uh, just know that they're there. So today in this video, we'll take the vehicle out for a test drive as well. So we'll see how it all looks in a practical application, but we'll talk about how to engage these paddle shifts there's what they're meant to do and um, then we'll also you know test drive the car to see how the real life application looks on them now before we take the vehicle out for a test drive let's cover two ways very quickly how we can enter this manual shift mode so this vehicle does not have the actual geared transmission so the cvt transmission does not have gears but to enter this manual mode it actually simulates the gears and acts basically same as the regular transmission would do so now there's two ways how to enter this mode so typically once you start driving you know you put in a drive and that's the drive indicator light comes on right here and then on the panel you'll see it right here that you're in a in a drive mode right so when you pull it again like this the transmission enters m enters the manual shift mode right and that's also you can see it right here instead of drive you'll see the this uh you know the gear that you're in if you're standing it's going to be one if you're driving it's going to be three four five six whatever the case would be right so this you can do while you drive as well so you're in a drive you want to go into manual mode you just pull it again right if you pull it again after it's in manual mode that's how you exit the manual mode right so you do this to enter and exit the manual mode and once you're in a manual mode so this is where you can you know shift up to pull the right side paddle plus right and then this one here is to shift uh, down so basically up shifts down shifts that's what these paddles would do and you will see how these numbers change accordingly right so when canceling the manual shift mode you pull this lever again just the way we talked about it right now right and the transmission is going to go into your regular drive mode. It's going to return to normal regular driving mode. The second way how to enter this manual mode is uh, with this plus and minus while your vehicle is in a drive mode, right? So let's say you're driving or you put in the drive and you press it plus or minus. This will automatically give you access to your manual gear shift mode right so then you can shift it up and down without pressing in one more time and entering the manual mode so automatically when you press it up or down this puts you into this uh, manual shift mode so now when you pull the paddle shifter while in this driving position the transmission will shift to upper or lower range temporarily so the transmission will automatically return to the drive position after a short period of time. So basically you're driving the vehicle, you're upshifting, downshifting, you're not doing nothing. Few seconds later, it'll go back to the drive, right? So it's a different than if you enter this manual mode. Once you're in a manual mode, it's always stays in manual. If you do it with these shifters directly from the drive, then it's gonna do your gear shift and then gonna go back to the automatic mode so let's say if you're downshifted and you are upshifted and you want to go back to automatic mode right away you can press and hold this for approximately 1.5 to 2 seconds and that will put you back into automatic uh, driving uh, position or driving mode right so that's a difference if you do it from here through the manual mode always stays in the in the gears if you're doing it from here, it always bounces back to your automatic unless you shift it back into the manual. So that's the difference. Now let's take it out for a test drive, see how the practical application is gonna look like. And now let's check out the first way when you permanently engage into the manual mode, right? So once we're in a drive, we, uh, we 
pull it uh, the lever to the drive one more time and it's uh, kind of hard to see right now in the sun so we can see the m the manual lights up and then here in the panel we have number one so that will be gear number one and now we're gonna drive it and it's gonna be always gonna stay in that first gear unless we shift it up or of course if this would be higher gears we can shift it up or down see how rpms are going up and it's just not doing anything right so it always always stays in this manual permanent mode unlike the other option which we're going to look at in a second shifting up second gear shifting up third gear okay you can shift down to the second gear right so now you can shift all you want now you're in control right so now the question is where and how you can use something like this so vast majority of people who drive these cars and it's not exclusive just to outlanders basically any other cars they'll never use it except when they might go like up the hill down the hill maybe you're going uh you know a little bit like off-road situations and whatnot it could be useful then personally from my experience couple of ways where i've used it is if i go through the snow or a little bit of a mud where I need that 100% control of the RPMs. I don't want the vehicle to shift in the second gear. Uh, I use it there. Or if you go steep hills, downhill, you don't want to be pressing the brake all the time, then you just kind of play around with gears a little bit, right? So that's where I can use it. But this one always stays in a manual mode unless you pull it again or you press the plus shifter and hold it for like two seconds, then it always bounces back to the drive. And now let's check out the second way what's happens if you what happens if you drive and then you uh, press plus or minus what's going on then so let's check out that part now let's check out the second way most common way i think what you would be using on the highway driving and your day-to-day -day driving it's by pulling one or the other plus or minus and immediately this see how it went from drive to six and now we can downshift RPMs go high and we have more control over the vehicle, how responsive it is, or upshift. If I don't do nothing for a little while, it'll go back to drive mode, right? So let's check that out. So we're kind of in this fifth gear. We're not shifting anything else. Like we maybe like went up the hill, down the hill, you know, the way we wanted. And the transmission is gonna shift back into uh, drive. So basically, once you start shifting, it's meant for you know short maneuvers and then at some point it just goes back to the drive so we just stopped at the intersection see how it went uh, back uh, to drive so it happened to be that it uh, went back in drive as we were stopping but if we keep driving doesn't matter it kicked back in a drive right so that's the major difference between having to like you know start from the drive or while you're on the drive right so and then the other way how to go back if you're in the manual mode we'll check that so let's put it back in the manual mode and then if you want to go back into manual mode let's say we're in the sec third gear a uh, gear we want to go back in manual we just press and hold this plus lever for about two seconds and it goes back to the drive right so those would be the two different basically choices that you might have right one is always permanent in the select shift and the second one is you do quickly your upshifting downshifting and then the vehicle kicks it back into the drive for you and you can control your gears even more if you want to or not so the practical application right so you know maybe you want to pass the vehicle you want to downshift real quick get that instant force or you're going up the hill down the hill where you want to be in control of your rpms and how responsive the vehicle is so in real life i've used it a couple times mainly if i go straight downhill or if you have a little bit off-road situation where you want to be in control of the you know wheel spinning and everything else off-road same goes for heavy snow situation you might want to be in that first gear then it's uh, a useful application other than that what i find sometimes it's good to know about this feature because you might pull your lever by accident and then the vehicle doesn't go uh, faster than the first gear and then you don't know what to do so if you're in a situation where you need to shift it quickly from like you notice okay there's one just either pull the lever one more time 
the drive like this, right? Or two second hold or a second and a half and two second hold and it's going to bounce back into drive so there we go that's a quick thing on how to operate these paddle shifters what they are two ways how to operate them and quick ways how to engage them uh, back from manual selection to the drive so i hope you found this video helpful see you in next videos